I wanted more realism than army testing was accustomed to providing. You want realism? General, you are out of order. Madam Chairman, in the interest of resolving some of the issues presented here today, I'd like to say something. Please be brief, General. Of course. Colonel Burton wants more realism. So let's talk about the real world for a moment. The real world has enemies in it. There are forces at work, even now as we speak, with one objective in mind, the destruction of this country. We must not. We will not allow those forces to prevail, for if we do, you can be certain that you and I and everyone else will never again enjoy the luxury of meeting in this building to debate anything. As I said at the outset, we are in the business of winning. That takes teamwork. General, the teamwork you so prize, I take it it was in full force during the development of the Bradley fighting vehicle? Textbook! Perhaps you'd like to tell us how much has been spent so far to develop the Bradley. How much? Well, you have the figures, don't you? Of course. Uh... Fourteen. More or less. Fourteen? Fourteen. Million? Uh, yeah. What did you say, General? Billion. Billion? With a B? With a B. Fourteen billion dollars for designing one armored vehicle. That's one way of looking at it. Of taxpayers' money. We are all taxpayers, after all. We're in this together. General, how many years has this program been running? Bear with me. Let me... Just a moment. Uh, uh, well, let me, uh, 12, 15, 17. What? <laughs> 17. Which is evidence of the enormous care my team takes in the development of every weapons system undertaken by the Pentagon. Hmm. 17 years. $14 billion of the taxpayers' money. General, I think it's time the American public gets the live-fire test that Colonel Burton wants. <laughs> <laughs> 